Welcome back, you guys, to my channel. I'm so excited you could join me. And we are starting a new series called Wear It or Had It. It's basically what that means is, is it very beautiful and you want to wear it out? Or you want to had it where it's too much? Very too much is disgusting. You just want to cover it up. You guys be the judge. The first creative hairstyle is going to be dealing with a bunch of braids and not just any braid, the Dutch braid. And I mean bunch, not one, two, or three, seven. So we're starting off with my hair. There's nothing in it, and this is what it looks like after it's blow dried. There's no product, it's very frizzy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part it using my rat tail comb, and you guys always ask where I buy this. I purchased it off of Amazon, and I can never find the link for this, but I will try to find it for you guys. Or you can find this at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. So I'm just gonna part it right in the middle, just going towards the back. So I'm gonna grab my rat tail comb and divide a section at each side. This is where the first Dutch braids are going to come, right here on the side. Kind of like a hairband, but not really. So we're gonna leave an inch, half an inch to an inch of hair that we're not gonna use at all in the braid. And then grab another inch for the actual braid. Then we're gonna take the hair and we're just gonna pin it towards the back. I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and just pin this front section away so I don't braid it at all. I'm actually gonna add some paste into my braid so I can control it better and there's not as many flyaways. And I'm using the BB Brilliantine by Bumble and Bumble. Take it between my fingers or on my hands. I'm just gonna run it through the hair quickly where I'm gonna braid. All right, so now I'm just gonna begin by braiding a Dutch braid. So I'm just grabbing a nice front section to begin my braid, not too thick and not too little. I'm just gonna divide it into three like a regular braid. So a Dutch braid is where you take the outer sections and you cross them under the middle. Hold that and tuck it underneath like so. So I'm gonna take the outer section underneath first and then add a little bit of hair from underneath to the middle section to create a bigger one. Hold, bring it underneath and grab some hair and add it to underneath the middle. And this is how you Dutch braid. And just continue down. So I'm taking the braid behind the ear, so you can see my ear is right here. So I'm gonna braid right behind it, but not too big. So see, I'm keeping the braid pretty much the same size. Starting from the top to the bottom, it's not getting wider. I think that's good. I'm gonna tie it off with a clear elastic because you don't wanna take it all the way down. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side trying to stay with the same braid. And by that I mean the same thickness and length. <laughs> right? Straight to the point. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's the harsh style. Very creative. I'm kidding, we're not done yet. So now we're done with the first two braids. Let's move on to the other five braids. The first one is gonna be right in the middle. I'm gonna create it right from the crown, creating a section on each side of the part. So one, two, and I'm not taking big sections whatsoever because we have to fit five braids back there. And I, I like them smaller. So now I have my first section in the back sectioned off and I have pinned away each side of my hair and I'm adding more paste to each section. So I'm sure you guys are getting the drift. Add paste to each braided section so it'll be easier to braid and there's not as many flyaways. So we're starting at the very crown and I'm taking the tiny section at the very top of the braid and divide it into three, like a regular Dutch braid. If you can. Yeah, if I can. <laughs> there we go. And having paste or having some kind of paste in the hair helps it section it easier. So under middle, under, under, and then start adding a little sections to each side. And you guys always ask how I braid in the back of my head. It's literally by feel and touch, because when I braid in the back, I can't really take a mirror and hold it, and plus I get confused <laughs> very easily when I braid in the back with a mirror, so I just do it by feel and touch. I think that's the easiest. Once we have it in the middle, I'm just gonna tie it off just to hold it in place. So I'm gonna section off the last section on my left side and I'm gonna do the same thing, Dutch braid. So we're gonna have a total of five braids in the back. So now that we have the three braids done, we're gonna go on the other side and do the rest to two braids right here. Take my rock tail comb 
and we're gonna do the same sections on this side. So what I do to help the braid stay in place and not unwind all the way, I take part of the strand from the braid and some hair from underneath the braid that's not braided and I curl them together. So that kind of clamps the hair to stay in place. And you can either go in the same direction with the curls or you can alternate them. It all depends on what you like. And I'm taking smaller sections because I want as many waves or as curls in the back. All right, so now we're gonna take the front sections with a little bit of the hair in the front. Make sure we pull this section that's not braided down like so, both the section and the braid. We're gonna take this front section on top of it and give it a little twist. Take your bobby pin, bring it like so with the hair, bring it up and then bring it back down. And then just gives it a nice tight, secure hold with the bobby pin and the hair. I'm gonna go back, get a little bit more paste just because I have a little bit more flyaways. If you don't have any, you can skip this step, grab some hairspray and just set the whole look in place. So there we have it for the very first creative hairstyle. Would you wear it or would you hat it? You don't need to hat it, it already looks like a hat. Wow, thanks. <laughs> it does. How does it look like a hat? It's got weaves. It has weaves? <laughs> I guess you could put it that way. I love this kind of trend where you have, it's nice and sleek at the top and it kind of poofs and it gives a lot of volume towards the bottom. And it, I think it's very, very cute and creative. Yeah, I would definitely wear this. But, but, let me give you a quick disclaimer. For the braids to stay in place, you do have to use some kind of paste before you braid. It does help with the braiding and it does help with the longevity of the braid to have its shape and hold throughout the day. If you don't use anything, your braid will fall apart from experience, so I do use some kind of braid and then apply some hairspray to the top to set it all in place. For this next hairstyle or option, it's gonna be more of an updo and it's a little bit crazier. So, you guys know I like my faux hawks. It's gonna be a faux hawk updo. So we're gonna start sectioning off on each side. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but you wanna have it somewhat straight. Yeah, looks fine. <laughs> Now we're gonna go the other side. Let me just hold this hair back so it doesn't go back down. Then we're gonna go do the same thing on this side. So basically what this is going to entail is two French braids right here on the side. We're gonna make sure we pick up at least this much because it's gonna be nice and tight. And we're not gonna bring the braids down. We're gonna actually try to keep them towards the top like so and they're gonna meet in the middle. And this hair that's gonna be left over, we're just gonna pick it up into the braid. Take my right tail comb. Grab a section from the front. So I'm taking one of my hands towards the back. This is gonna help guide where the braid is gonna go. Divide it into three equal sections and we're gonna do French braid. So outside sections are going over the middle. So before I bring it over, grab a section and then bring it over the middle. And I'm gonna try to keep the braid as close as possible to this parting line at the very top that we created. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, braid a French braid, close as possible to the parting line, making sure it's sort of to the top, not to the middle or to the bottom. And I'm gonna meet it to the other braid in the middle of the back of my head. So you see these hairs right here in the back? Before we put these two braids together, I'm gonna to pick up these hairs and bring them towards the top. Take bobby pins and secure them right where the braids meet. So once the lower sections are pinned away, I'm gonna take the braids and crisscross them in the middle, going up towards the front. Once it's crisscrossed, we're gonna take each braid and we're gonna pin it down with bobby pins. So here's the fun part. Take your smallest curling iron that you have. This is the Conair. I think this is a half an inch, maybe even less. I don't know how big this is, but I'll find out for you and I'll have a link down below. And we're gonna make this top part very curly and messy. So continue curling and the best thing or the trick that I like to do is take smaller sections to have the curls more defined. You can also take the curls and alternate the directions if you want. Um, after you're done curling, I take some bobby pins and to give it more of a mohawk or full hawk look, I just take the side sections on each side and just pin some sections away to give it a little bit more polished look on each side. So there we have it. It's definitely a lot more sexy. 
bold and creative and definitely a lot of fun. I hope you guys like this one because I love it. I like that it's sleek, but it's crazy on the top. It's kind of like a reverse faux hawk. Love this one. What do you guys think? That's awesome. Wear it or hat it. Nice. It's like a beanie, a reverse beanie on the top. Yeah, it's cool. So what do we think of the first two creative hairstyles? Do you guys want to see more of those? I definitely want to create more. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. My name is Milana and welcome to my channel. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.